Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. We're going to be heading down to River's Edge Gallery tonight to go to the Macabre Ball. Um, and we'll be doing tarot readings there from 7 to 10. If you guys want to stop by, there's like a extra weird little bonus thing happening, plus some really cool stuff going on at the gallery. Um, for everybody else, hi! That's why I'm all like done up. I have a couple more events, so if you guys live in the Downriver area or you are um, somewhere near the Downriver area, you can also stop into uh, Witches of Why Not on the 28th. We'll be at Glowfish from um, 3 to 6 p.m. That's uh, the full moon of the 28th, right before Solemn, right? And then there's also a Sip and Sundays event on Sunday at uh, Love It Again from 12 to 2 p.m. We'll be do there doing readings. That event actually goes all the way through till 5. And then our Witches and Wine on, um, at uh, Island Goods Grozeal is sold out, right? We're going to be there from 5 to 8 on Wednesday the 25th, but there's plenty of other things going on at that event, so don't let the... Um, you know, if you don't just come down to see me and get a reading, come down to hang out with all the stuff. Okay, so that's enough promo. Let's uh, get a couple cards and see what's going on. Ooh, the devil feeling bound to something makes one worse off than before, tricks mortals into being bound, accepts, uh, um, you know, sacrifices. All right, let's see. Page of Cups. Ooh, so we have Moloch and Stolas. Um, in honor of the event, uh, to keep with the themes tonight, we're reading with the occult tarot. We have the shamanic healing and the Wiccan oracle out. So let's see. So we have the page of cups, which is Stolas, this funny little owl on these legs, these really tall legs here. He's got a crown. It says, teaches astronomy and the value of herbs and precious stones. Very interesting. So we just got that other deck. Maybe we'll pull something from there too. Let's see. We have the six of pentacles, Amy. Mm -hmm. It says, teaches astrology and liberal sciences, reveals hidden treasure, and brings excellent familiars. That's two that are teaching astrology. We really need to pay attention to the astrology is what it's calling for. And since we have the devil here, um, that, that is the major arcana representing Capricorn. So we could be talking about something that's going into that uh, season. We could be talking about something career, something Saturnian, right? Could be talking about Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um and most likely the day in which you will be seeing this reading, right? Uh, Queen of Cups, uh, Fenex. And it says, um, teaches all sciences, performs wonderful poetry, follows all requests with excellence. So there's definitely um, some grace coming out of this, uh, whatever this binding is to this devil energy. There's this offer, a small offer of love from somebody who maybe understands, um, has like this... Uh, like emotional psychic intuition, how to uh, fix things, right? How to heal wounds, right? And now we have the gamma again. Um, five of Pentacles teaches all liberal sciences, gives an account of the souls that uh, died in sin. You know what? That's this is a lot about astrology, astronomy. We have astronomy, astrology, the sciences, and lots about teaching, right? And it does look as if the devil kind of sits like this on this throne in this deck, like uh, he's. Um, Ooh, I heard king shit. Hmm. But, um, yeah, probably. But it did give me that vibe of the Hierophant a little bit here. Can we get one more card, please? One more card for the end. And then the world. Wow, I said end for the end, and we get the world. This is uh, Vapula. Makes one skilled in labor and crafts, increase, increases knowledge of science and philosophy. Um, this may be asking us to look at something with the scientific mind, the scientific method, right? Form a hypothesis, test the hypothesis, right? Come up with an idea and a strategy and then like, you know, predict how you think that it's going to turn out and then test that and not necessarily like go out and poke a bear. Okay. That's not what we mean, especially with the devil here, but um, with the five of pentacles, like being felt like we're left out, maybe an empathetic approach, scientific method approach to our empathy, you know, like how does this um, affect who, how does this affect the situation when I come at it with with love, does that bring me out of feeling like I'm outside of something, right? Am I being trapped outside of something because I'm um, feeling bound to it and I need to let go of it? We need to let go of it, maybe start giving to something else. What if the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles, there's like almost like there's this um, like uh, progression, right? You add the page of cups to the five of pentacles and suddenly there's this generosity, this even give and take that winds up ending the cycle successfully, right? It's like this assistance to come along and maybe free us from these binds. What's this say here wow 
death, which is Lucifer in this car in this deck, right, provides liberation and illumination, incites jealousy and envy, and that could also be what some of this devil energy is about. You know, um, when we try to let go of something, when we try to move on from something, um, it often provokes negative uh, feelings in things that might be attached to us, and that's just a natural response. But it doesn't mean that we need to cave to it, give in to it, or serve it. Right? We need to make sure that we are coming from a heart space because that. That's what's the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, right? This offer, um, being sympathetic, empathetic, and being um, moral and upstanding, right? Using the scientific method. I keep hearing scientific method. There's all these sciences here. Figure out what um, what belongs to who. You know, what, what What are the root issues here? What did it take something apart analytically here um, from a heart space, right? So normally the swords elements would be doing that, but the queen of cups, the page of cups is asking you, and astrology and astronomy, it's asking you to look at something empathetically with a um, scientific mind, right? Don't attach yourself to those things. Have thought experiments. Wonder how it would work. What if, is there a formula that equates that solves this problem for you? And does that wind up being like a bit of generosity? Like how much can I give? Um, how much is needed? What is that? And then offering that with love in order to free the um, free the person who's stuck, free the person who's left out, if that's you, if that's someone else, right? But to alleviate that feeling of being left out in the cold, of not having enough, of, of um, being without, right? By, by that bit of generosity that's coming, it causes an ending to the cycle. It brings great success and it's a revocable change. It will never go back to the way that it was before. What do we have here? Wow. Stripping illusions, number 27. Yep. We really have to be honest about that, and that's part of what this methodology is talking about, this approach, right? We can't always, we can intuit our way through, but we can't always do that. Sometimes we need concrete, solid things, solid advice, solid evidence, right, in order to um, beat something as, as strong as Saturn, right? Something as restrictive and constrictive as that Saturnian energy, and this could be, like I said, this could be in career, this could be um, familial as in like the father line, right? It's feeling like it's a long period of time. It's feeling like it's covering maybe even many generations, right? And that necessary, the necessity of giving love here, stripping away the illusions, and now we have psychic development exactly in intuition. This brings us to a space where we are able to understand what we're feeling and how that is related in the rational world, right? And like I said, then that gives the ability to offer something with love from a heart space without overgiving. And that's how the cycle is going to end because the devil will take it all if you let him, right? I'll leave you out and then I'll take everything. Well, no, you won't because the queen of cups knows how to give um, compassionately and with boundaries. And then we have past, present, and future. Wow. Talk about like the world card, the death card coming to conclusions, starting over where you are now is what is building the future. Right now is the past of the future and right now is the future of the past. So really all we have is this moment to build something new, to give and take and receive in a loving and kind and well-balanced manner. And that is what we're really beginning to see when we take apart all these illusions of what's holding us back. You know, are we, if we're living too far in the future, it's going to create anxiety. If we're living too far in the past, it's going to create depression. How do we maintain that balance within ourselves and the situation? Well, we live in the now, right? That's been a huge theme right now. Ascension. Well, moving on up. Moving on up. Ascension. This is definitely the end of something here. That's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. On to bigger and better places, bigger and better things. Let's get a Wicked Oracle. Let's figure out... So I like the Wiccan world because it also gives us a question, right? We come in with a question and we leave with a question, um, but it's it's a, something new, a way to change our perspective and focus on this. So let's see what it has to tell us today. It's got two things. Wow. The book, the mask. So we'll get that out real quick. Numbers 21 and 25. Ritual mask. Is that? Masks both conceal and reveal. When you don a mask, you present another face to the world, perhaps part of yourself that you do not dare show in everyday life. Ceremonial masks allow the wearer to embody the deity itself, drawing forth 
powers that can possess mere humans with divine inspiration, meaning some part of yourself that uh, you may have been repressing wants to be set free. Hmm. Look within and see what alter ego needs to come to the surface. Be bold and let your true self image emerge. The reverse, it means um, beware that not as all is all is not as it seems and judge carefully whether true words are being spoken and true intentions are being stated. Always keyword persona, self expression, embodiment, affirmation. I show my true face to the world. Challenge. Who do you think you are? Book of Shadows, number 25. The Wiccan Book of Shadows is a record of rituals, beliefs, prayers, and magical lore. While there um, are published books of shadows, each practitioner will have a personal book as well. For Wicca, it is a tradition that greatly values individualism and rejects dogma. The Book of Shadows is a tool, not, uh, not a set of commandments. Meaning, this is a time to deepen your knowledge through study, including but not limited to reading. Seek out teachers who will encourage you to think for yourself. Put your study into practice through meaningful rites and spell work. Reverse, go back to the basics of your spiritual practice, keeping it very simple until you're feeling you are in touch with your essential sacred self against with that essential sacred self, right? Taking off that mask, like, who do you think you are? And this whole thing about learning and teaching and sciences and astrology and astronomy and all of it right? Philosophy. Really consider what your philosophy on life is, that scientific method approach, right? Right. Okay. Um, keywords, knowledge, lore, learning, affirmation. I walk the path of wisdom. Challenge. How do you challenge authority? Interesting. Very interesting. Because that, like I said, that Saturnian devil energy, that feeling of like restrictive, constricted, maybe paternal, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, patriarchal maybe it's a big boss um, however it represents to you this is saying like take off your take off your mask be empathetic and sympathetic with yourself offer yourself that page of cup or if it's someone else i mean really like like maybe they don't know that you uh have this side of you maybe they don't know that this part of you is available and then writing it down right learning learning from the experience but i really feel like there's like this uh like hit on reading today on bringing in actual knowledge on informing yourself about something through something that's going to relieve you free you right offer it's going to be that offer of love maybe having this conversation someone's teaching you something but um it brings a successful end to the cycle and allows you to ascend and remember there's no going back right all right i hope that was helpful i hope that you got something out of it thank you so much for being here thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time bye